Thanks, Dan. With us and Bill O'Reilly in the impact segment tonight, some Republican congressmen demanding the FBI investigate Hillary Clinton for perjury in front of a congressional committee when she explained the email deal. Did the FBI investigate her statements under oath on this topic? Not to my knowledge. I don't think there's been a referral from Congress. Do you need a referral from Congress to investigate her, her statements under oath? Sure do. You'll have one. New ABC News Washington Post poll asks the folks, do you approve or disapprove of FBI Director Comey's recommendation that Clinton should not be charged with a crime? 35 percent approve, 56 percent disapprove, 9 percent don't know anything. Joining us from Washington is Congressman Jason Chaffetz. So um, I got a little, uh, when, and when I saw that exchange last week, I said, does he really need a referral? I don't think he needs a referral. He could have gone into that area and see if she had uh, misstated stuff to you. Could, could he not? Yeah, you don't need a permission slip from Congress to find out if somebody violated uh, the law, and it is against the law to provide false statements so to Congress. So what was that, all that referral stuff? Well, I, I, what he was very careful, of, the director Comey said that she didn't lie to them. But, you know, the public comments are one, one area. But when you lie under oath, that's a whole nother level. And I was trying to get there because I wanted to know if that went towards her intent. And, but to say that didn't even look at it, that was kind of ridiculous. But, uh, but I don't understand why he would do that. And why wouldn't you investigate I, the, the whole totality of the controversy, the email controversy, which includes Secretary Clinton's testimony in front of your committee. I don't understand why we needed a, a referral if he wants to get to the heart of the matter. Do you? I, I have no rational explanation for it. It was All one right. of the shocking That's things that thought. came out of the hearing. I thought it yeah. was shocking, and I was very disappointed in the yeah. director's uh, statement yeah. there. Now, you've sent your referral over, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So now he has to take a look at whether she misled your committee. Is that correct? Yes, and as Trey Gowdy went down the list of all the public statements she made, are very similar to what they what she said under oath. And the director has already said that those statements aren't true. Yeah, but so. here's the game. Here, here, she's going to say, and he's going to back her up. I, I I know it. She's going to say, I didn't know at the time that I was misleading. This is the information that I thought was true at the time. And he even hinted that Comey. He's not going to come down with any. He's not. Well, he should. What he should do, and, and the what he does, it may be two different things, but the other bit of revelation that came out of this is there were up to 12 people who didn't have the requisite security clearance that the secretary gave that information to. So during the hearing, he said she might not have been as sophisticated enough to know how technology yeah, and email he was, and servers work. She was making work. excuses for it. But even, yeah. even so, you know, another thing that struck me about the investigation is that I think Secretary of Clinton should have been uh, questioned by the FBI at the top of the investigation, not two days before Comey came out, don't you? Well, it's a common investigative tactic to interview somebody at the beginning, do your investigation, then interview them at the end and see what sort of conflict yeah. there is. But, I, you know, I... He laid it out what he did, and the American public gets to make the decision. If it well, were up to me, it'd be a different conclusion. They already made the decision. It's pretty. Yeah. It's pretty. Yeah. And whether they care enough to vote uh, against Mrs. Clinton, uh, we don't know. But at, in my opinion, he's probably going to, you know, talk to you guys a little bit. But it's going to be she didn't know at the time when she was misleading that. She was misleading. <laughs> She's the Secretary of State. She I wasn't that official in wildlife. But you know what I'm saying to you is true. You I know, know it's I not going to come back your way. It's not. I, I can't you know. argue with you, Bell. All right. Yeah, no. All right, Congress.